is a L-shaped corner cabinet with a solid wood front frame and built-in doors. There are no front frame functions in polyboards, so we have to build this using an assembled structure. Let's see how to do this. In the case of an L-shaped cabinet, front frames must be built as a separate cabinet and assembled to the base cabinet in the project. So let's start by creating a project. In my project, I'm going to insert an L-shaped cabinet by using the new cabinet button and choosing the L-shaped cabinet and giving it sizes here. I'm going to drag the model into my project zone and just make sure that the Z position is zero. If I double click our cabinet to open it in cabinet edit mode and I click on the inside volume, I can see the inner dimensions. Polyboard doesn't display by default the lengths of the inside L shape here that I will need to have the width of my front frames. But this is easy to calculate. I can just take off the back dimensions, which is 962, from the side dimensions, which is 481, and this will give me the length of my inner L shape here. In our case, each side here is equal to 481. Please note that if my front frame is going along one side and the other front frame is going to butt up against it, I have to take off 22 millimeters for one of the front frames from that 481. Let's close our cabinet and go back to our project mode. To build a front frame, let's add another cabinet to our project. Let's add a simple box shape cabinet, making sure that the height is the same as our last cabinet Let's give it the width that is equal to our front frame width, the 481. Let's say we don't want to have the top, we don't want the bottom, we want to keep the back. The left side we don't want it, and the right side we don't want it. So we've just got one back panel, and let's just click OK. Let's change the name of this cabinet to left front frame. And let's open it in cabinet edit mode. Now in cabinet edit mode, I'm going to select the back, and I'm going to use the Quick Design toolbar to apply a library structure. I'm going to apply a frame structure. And let's uh, edit this structure. I'm going to go to the Properties, click on the Assembly Edit button, and let's take away all the mortise and tenon joints. So I'm going to put the mortise and tenons to zero. I'm going to click on Display Advanced Parameters so that I can choose the right upright and make that a nil bar material. And I'm going to select all overlaps and put them on to zero. Overlaps being, in fact, the depth of groove of the panel in the frame. And I'm going to click OK. Now let's set the cabinet depth so that it is the same depth as our front frame. So the depth is going to be 22 millimeters. And we just have here our front frame like this. Um, now that's what we want to do is we want to change the inner panel to represent the built-in door. So I'm going to select the front frame, go over to central panel, and then when it's selected here, it's orange, go back to our apply library structure and choose another structure, which I'm going to apply to it. Now we have the door inside that front frame. What we need to do is we need to give this door its slack values around the front frame. So to do that, I'm going to go, go back to our original front frame, which is the top level front frame here go into my assembly details, edit that again. We see here now we've got the front frame with the door inside it. So let's give it a two millimeter slack around it. So I'm going to give it the overlap value and put that into minus two. And we can see the little slack value is given here, giving it minus two on that side, on the left side, and on the bottom as well, minus two on the bottom side. So that gives us our slack values. On the right hand side, I will have to take minus two, but as I've got the other front frame coming up against this front frame, I will need to take minus 24. So I'm going to click in here, up minus 24. And that's going to give me my slack value so that the the, the other front frame is butting up against it will be okay. So I'm going to click that okay. Now I've got this structure here, which I can close. It's going to be my left front frame. Save this in my model. And if I take my left front frame, I can now clip this onto our cabinet. Let's clip it properly at the right place. And there we have it. They have a front frame which is assembled onto our cabinet. 
I forgot in my width measurements to take away the 90 millimeters of the thick panel here. So what I really need to do is I need to just add 90 millimeters to this front frame. So I'm going to just add 90 millimeters, which is going to give me, it's going to give me 500, 500. So there's our front frames in place. Now the, the actual material of this front frame follows the Quick Design libraries. So, for instance, the door material is is in the Quick Design libraries. I think it's bar material number two, which is white here. So let's apply a different type of wood to this bar material. So we'll click here. Let's take a cherry cherry wood. And there we have our front frame. Now we go back to, and we're going to use the same method to build the second front frame. 